do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human health and diseases in that we are studying topic ringworm now ringworm is a type of fungal infection what is this fungal infection we all know that yeast is a fungus so ringworm is it caused by yeast or a type of yeast let's study and find out about it ringworm now whenever we talk about ringworm ringworm is also known as dermophytosis dermo or dermology means the study of skin or derma means a skin layer basically ringworm is present as a circular red inflammation on the upper parts of your body especially the hands region or the inner parts of your ear or behind just your ear plugs ringworm is caused due to a fungal infection and it is very transmissible or you can say it is transferred from individual to individual sharing of your clothes or your wearables can transfer ringworm from individual to an another individual especially transfer from cats and dogs now ringworm bacteria or you can say fungus basically will survive at moist humid places on your skin especially if there is a moisture present on your skin surface there are chances of you getting the ringworm infection and spreading it to another individual now symptoms of ringworm are many that could be soreness uh, tenderness inflammation red alkaline dots all of them could be present at certain part of your body but there is a symptom of enlarging in the skin pores one of the symptoms of ringworm now the organism that actually causes ringworm is trypophytum another species of fungi also causes ringworm infections one of the preventions that an individual can take to just to cure themselves from ringworm or just to make sure that nobody gets that infection through them is to avoid walking bare feet because there are high chances that you can contaminate the ringworm infection more in soil if you walk it bare feet wash your clothes with hot water and try not to share any of your wearable materials with another individual by that way you're trying to cause ringworm to another individual now athlete's foot is one of the similar region infections that ringworm can cause or one of the symptoms of ringworm ringworm now ringworm is basically a fungal infection which is not hazardous in that scale as compared to aids and cancer but it can cause inflammation itchiness to an individual now this fungal infection can also occur in most of the individual if your immune system is below a certain level it is caused by a fungus which is known as tryptophytan and it could be microsporangium type of function fungus now being a fungal infection it is also termed as dermatophotus now dermatophotus in example of any infection that occurs at the dermal layer or upper layer of your skin now this fungus can basically survive in the moist and upper parts of your skin if there is moisture present in any part of your skin and it is not clearly white or clearly pat dry there are chances that this fungal or yeast infection can grow very rapidly and thrive over there the most common symptoms of this typical type of fungus growing is enlarging or you can say raised ring of ringworm basically a circular red inflamed region on your behind ear part or ear lobe in your hand region
Now, few of the prevention so that you do not contract or do not spread fungal diseases to any other individual could be that you need to use fungicidal soaps to wash your clothes as well as food waste. Now, when I say fungicidal, these are the soaps that will kill fungus or remove the fungal stain and patches present on your food waste, on your clothing, etc. Stuff. Avoid walking bare feet if you have a fungal infection, especially in the food region because soil has another kind of bacteria present and to the infected part where fungus is present, you, there are chances that you may contract any other type of infection as well and spread it. Now the fungus that causes this fungal infection basically feeds on keratin, a type of a protein that is found in the skin, more amount in hairs and little bit equal amounts in nails. Now, when fungal infection is present in the skin, it's treatable and curable. But sometimes, if the immune system is low and care is not taken, they can even spread to your heads and nails region. Now, when it spreads to the nails region, it is called as octomorphosis or it can cause the decaying of nails, breaking down of nails, turning yellow and all of them. Students, in this part of the chapter, we did study about fungal infections. What is the organism that leads to it and is it curable yes it is curable and treatable if proper care and taken care is taken around also fungal infections can be treated with normal mild medicines there is no need to go for higher therapy if there is a little drop in your immune system which is very likely if you are anemic or other things there are chances that you may get fungal infection also we know that certain Fungus are a normal flora of your hair scalp, especially candida albicans. So, any overgrowth of any other fungus can lead to certain kinds of diseases. Students, I hope you all are clear with this concept of ringworm. Thank you.